Good morning. Pleasure to be with you today. My name is Dr. Stephen Hill. I am an Undersecretary General of Interpol for Education and Training. We have selected Avenues New York as a pilot program in our inaugural Education and Training for Clandestine Operatives program. I told the kids, you're going to be going through a rigorous set of classes to build certain skills like cryptography, geography, observation. We all got excited about how what we were doing in our classrooms somehow related to this idea of teaching the kids to become spies, but secretly it was really to teach the kids to become better observers. My responsibility was mapping and cartography, so we learned a lot about latitude, longitude, and coordinates. If I was jumping this way, is the weather changing where I am? No, so the weather depends on where we are according to the latitude or longitude? Latitude, exactly. This class is on cryptography. It's the study of making and breaking secret codes. We took them to the Museum of Math. They took a class in coding and ciphering. My challenge is not just to figure out my name. After you figure out my name, use this code to write down your own. What do you expect those first two letters to be if they're not DR? Because it could be any pattern. Yet somehow, you have to figure out what pattern I use. You're going to create a profile of these two criminals how old they are, where you think you'd go to look for them, what behaviors you might see, what tendencies do they have. He probably disagreed with his parents and he was having a lot of troubles with them, so he probably ran away and maybe robbed a few things. Jessica Berkeley and I, we were working on the art part of the spy school. Find all of these games. Can somebody find where Leapfrog is happening? And then on Wednesday, the, the crisis has hit. A syndicate called Dragon may be on the move. A famous Dutch painting called the Netherlandish Proverbs was stolen last night. And the fifth grade was being asked if they uh, would be willing to help solve this crime and get the painting back. I will be leading one of the Special Forces teams. We are ready to help eliminate the Dragon operatives and get that painting back. However, you and your team need to help us and figure out where we're going. We cannot move without those grid coordinates from you. The kids very much went into this mode, which I was very impressed with, that they were like, okay, here's this thing that happened, and we know all these new tools that we've been using. How would we start thinking about what happened, where did it happen, how did it happen, who did it? We learned how to solve cases, like you have to look for the clues and stuff and you have to get your evidence before you find the culprit. Guys, what else? What else do you see around here? Coins! What is that? What kind of coins? They might, they're Chinese! Take a look around, what do we notice? We're supposed to be looking for numbers. A number, a right? phone number. Okay, write that down, write that down. They went to the actual art gallery. I don't know what happened last night, but I came in and there was a picture that we had there that's not there anymore. There was a limerick on the wall in place of the painting. You think you're so smart, you think you know art, then follow the scent and decide where we went. We're running out of time. You all know as well as I do, we don't strike within the first 48 hours. They may be gone before we even get there. And that deadline is fast approaching. The dragon bad guys uh, left behind a clue of three limericks pointing to three different locations. It says, there's a city quite far away. Your soldiers are made out of clay. It has to be China. They had to then, by the end of the day, start putting together what each piece of evidence actually meant and what it told them. What about this? Does this have some, something give us a clue to how we might craft this? Let's do this. Get me a list of educated guesses. I'm sure you guys can all do that together. I think the paintings in Xi'an 
because it was in the limerick and there's also in the coordinates that we had to decode. Most of the pieces pointed to China, but one key piece of evidence, if the students really looked at it closely, took Xi'an and flipped it on his head and went to a different location. We found a picture of a globe turned upside down. And we were able to use that as an eventual clue for the students to look at the world upside down. When they think they have the location, they have to go to the opposite end of the world. The soldiers made out of clay uh, and uh, climbed the high wall is uh, China. Um, I think the painting's in Chile and that's where Dragon is. One of the things on the rail led to Xi'an. I really think it's Santiago. And Friday we presented our case before Interpol who came to school. You did a fantastic job in a very fluid situation. Are you ready? The clues should have sent you to Santiago, Chile. If you can make education fun at the same time the children are learning, but they're doing it on their own, with you as the facilitator, that, that's the best teaching.